Ladies and gentlemen, let us pray. Humbly, Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for the blessing of remembering. We thank you for remembering us with your gifts. We thank you for the gift of a man who has spread your gospel. So in the blessed memory of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., we gather here to thank you. To thank you, Lord, in the loving life of Jesus Christ, in whom which we are forever yours. Amen. I'd like to call your attention to two corrections on the program. The reading for this evening will be given by Ms. Bernadette Coleman. And following comments by Reverend King, there will be a solo by Ms. Davida Jones. <coughs> In memory of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., the following poem that I'm going to read to you was written by George Coleman, who is my father. The title of the poem is Live Your Life Like King. The great God placed you far above the animals on earth, and how have you repaid this debt of such an honored birth? to give all that's within you, to make this bleak world sing. Oh, live like they who gave so much, live like Martin King. Oh, not to be a preacher, unless the call is there. Be barber or butcher, the love of God to share, that you would have all his creatures in equal love to do 
all that the earth shall grant us, this be the march for you. The Christ, he walked among us, his body and his blood, his everything to give us, and Martin, like a flood, took up the cross, the strife. He tried his best to stop it. With love, he gave his life. You cry, you weak meat creatures. You laugh and dance and dine. For this is all you see in life, the bitter, short wine. You are a pimp, thief, prostitute. Use dope, this hopeless act, to cry, you did not honor me. Oh, God, you made me black. Oh, hear now Martin's lesson that violence has no worth. If on yourself and others it still insults your birth, no matter what the hardship, you cannot justify the hopelessness, the lawlessness that helps the soul to die. Somewhere the wondrous Martin looks down upon the world and views the racist cunning, the hopeless black unfurled before the altar failure. How can the angel sing of something more than Eden? Oh, live your life like king. Thank you.
January 15th <clears throat> marked the 50th anniversary of the birth of a man who fought for a suppressed race. Many of us were quite, were quite young at the time of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s death, but I'm sure we all know of the accomplishments that he achieved, for we are the beneficiaries of his work. This week, in various places over the country, commemoration programs have taken place to honor this great man. On our campus this week, a rally and a march have occurred which reminded the black student body that the struggle which Dr. King fought for in the 60s continues to the 70s. It is not the same struggle, but it is a modern struggle. This is why we, the members of the Committee for Black Programs at the University of Georgia, in honor of the life and work of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., do hereby offer to our donation of $1,000 to do what we can to help ensure that Martin Luther King's dream of a free and just America becomes a reality for Americans of every race, creed, color, or religion. With our best wishes, the Committee for Black Programs.